Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader. Last time we uh, made it to the Kranach system and uh, things are not going well on Kiavagama. They sent a uh, Trojan horse at us, our ship, almost destroying us with that. And then they did not, they greeted us in space with heretical ships. And then when we got on the planet, there was no grand parade to welcome us or anything. Except the crazed um, tech priest who attacked us when we didn't do what he told him told us to do. I tell you, man. I don't know what Theodore was doing, but she was not running this place how she should have. I don't know why everybody's so so in love with her. I tread upon she really uh, rogue trader. was pretty lax on uh, I don't know, everything <laughs> on running the whole protectorate. It seems terrible. Predictable. Predictable. Ooh, we got some blood over there. Take all that. Got some lore warp over there. There was someone here. It's a good place to hide or set up another ambush. Blood mixed with machine oil is barely visible on the dark floor. Alright. I'm guessing this steam is not good. Okay, so we don't have a lot of time. I'm wondering if we shouldn't send everybody in here. Might be better to just send one person. God damn, that steam's lasting forever. True power. I see ah, I got hit. Rushed a little too much there. Triumphant as always. Hopefully I'm going to be able to, you know, set up the ladder. Oh man, this is a cool little map. <laughs> okay, I can't go over here. No. Lex Mechanic. A small, heavily augmented man in a filthy, tattered robe stands before you. As you approach, he hesitantly looks up at you, his eyes filled with horror. A portable inscriber with a keyboard hangs from the straps at his foot. At his front, rather. And you can see his detached cerebr cerebral cogitator peeking out from under his hood. You have nothing to fear from us. What's this? Another one of the cultist's minions? Death to the slaves of the arch enemy. Go number two. The tech priest cowers behind his hands, whimpering pitifully. N no, no, I'm not a cultist. They tried to corrupt my mind with their heresy, but I ran. I am Manufactorum Lex Mechanic Zeta 86. I perform the rituals for the machine spirits of Foundry 95. Up until we started going mad, priests devoted to the Omnissia suddenly started praising the dawn of something or other. They stopped the belts, and then they desecrated the visages of the sacred machines with unholy symbols. Some of them resisted. The others grabbed them, tied them up, and then, and then they turned their implants to heresy. I saw the madmen. My former tech comrades deliberately connect those poor souls to corrupted cogitators. I watched as they were infected with the scrap code. And did nothing to stop them. I am recording a violation of the commandment of thine own forge to be true sentinel. Apostate Zeta 86. Your access are hereby revoked. Proceed with your report. The icy rumble coming from... Pascal's box causes the Lex Mechanic to lower his head in fear and contrition. How did you manage to avoid the same fate? I... I didn't avoid it. They performed the same procedure on me. I felt the touch of the unholy co code. I allowed it to control me. I abandoned my sacred post and followed one of the traitors. 
serving his will and gathering all the data from it for his blasphemous experiments. I was driven by an unholy impulse coming from the depths of my auxiliary cogitator, where the code had lodged itself. Before I found a way to throw off the compulsion, I witnessed horrifying heresy, the extraction of true flesh and its decompo decomposition on altars. Perverse procedures that resulted in heretical abominations. I even accompanied a fallen Magos to the fabricator censor himself and attended the unholy mass he led personally. It was a wicked ritual, full of willful deviations and blatant in inaccuracies, all to create an ungodly monster in the name of the final dawn. You don't act like the other priests who were infected by the corruption. You mentioned a monster. Is that some kind of weapon? How did your crazed comrades behave? You mentioned someone imprisoned on the lower levels. You don't act like other priests. The Lex Mechanic gestures at the wires and connectors spilling from, his, from under his hood. Praise the gifts of the Omnissiah. I managed to disconnect my external cogitator, and which I used for primary data processing. The machine is corrupted. The scrap code is locked inside it, like a beast in a cage, but anyone who tries to look inside will fall victim to the heretical program. My primitive brain has been marked by corruption. I still see so their silhouettes, hear their interference. I sense the malfunctions in my augmentics. But I was still saved from the great sacrifice. Oh, blessed are the workings of the Omnissiah and his benediction that shelters the weak from evil. Heimrich's tenses ever so li slightly at the Lex Mechanic's words. You see his hand casually straight to the handle of his weapon. The interrogator is in no hurry to act. You mentioned a monster. Is this some kind of weapon? No, no. Not these constructs that are melted down in furnaces and sent to the depths of the manufacturer. It is some kind of semblance of a, of a cogitator. A nightmarish parody of a sacred machine, powered by the Omnissiah's grace, but by the unholy spirit and life force of the unfortunate prisoner imprisoned on the lower levels. I don't know much except that the fabricator sensor saw the machine as special. It was special to him and to the crazies who defiled the Omnissiah's abode and with their obscene blasphemy. For the final ritual, he even ca called called upon one of the Astar Astartes, Astartes? heretics who arrived at the manufacturer after the start of the uprising. He did something, something terrible. And only after that were they able to switch the machine on. It is a true abomination. Even standing near it is unbearable. I believe that even those who have been deprived of the Omnissiah's grace still feel its influence on them. Its monstrous power utilized for unholy computations and chaotic calculations. Whatever that cogitator might spew out at the end of its cycle, no righteous soul should accept its, he its heinous offerings. How did your crazed comrades behave? Like the grace of the Omnissiah had left them entirely, replacing free thought and progress with blanket corruption. I witnessed them desecrating structures blessed by the fabricator censor himself. Though what do the blessings of the rotten traitor count for now? Like men possessed, they set upon the sacred instrument and assembled shells and nodes that didn't match any diagram or blueprint I'd ever seen. Sacrilege. You mentioned someone imprisoned on the lower levels. The lay servants of the main units. They live in isolated segments under the sacred machine halls. I heard they were locked in there after the takeover. Then my crazed brethren changed the system for deposing a, of slag waste and covered the machines in cursed symbols. Lex Mechanic hesitates. After they started the cogitator, they dragged the survivors out of the segments under the machine halls. Well, <laughs> what the survivors had turned into. You demonstrate exceptional powers of observation and recall for someone who just happened to survive. I am a Lex Mechanic. Gathering data is the purpose of my existence. That's even what they used me for. He trails off, belatedly understanding the subtext to the interrogator's words. They used me against my will. The scrap code turned everyone into their slave. 
Before I rid myself of the cogitator, I was forced to serve alongside those who perpetrated these atrocities. It witnessed their obscenities. Turn to Heinrichs. What do you make of it? The interrogator turns his head. Servant of the Omnis, Sire, I must know more. About the final dawn, the fabricator sensor, his mass, and about the, his machine as well. I could give you the coordinates, but... Lux Mechanic drops his head. Even though I was present for many blasphemies committed by those heretics, all the detail that were captured and processed by the true flasher and the augmetic that was corrupted by the scrap code. I am convinced that if I hadn't fought off that foreign compulsion in time, I would have been doomed. The corruption would have spread to my biological cogitator as well. The Lex Mechanic taps a finger on a device hanging from his ear on several wires. I swear that no devout tech priest should come into contact with what's hidden in that once sacred device. Hammock's expression shifts as he stares intently at the disconnected implant and the still intact connectors protruding from under Lex Mechanic's collar. The corner of his mouth twitches involuntarily. Abelard notices the look on Heinrich's face, Heinrich's face, and once he does, he sighs heavily and looks away. Heinrichs, what are you thinking? Can the cogitator be disconnected and reconnected to another machine? Lex Mechanic shakes his head in reproach. Even if the, even if the very idea of exposing a holy machine to the scrap code wasn't profane in itself. My augmetics are not universally compatible. They cannot be connected to another machine spirit. They were created to interact within the system of my true flesh. To enivorate my compulsor unit and output data via the inscriber. Once I'm safe, I swear that I will immediately perform a cleansing rite and destroy it. In other words, there's only one way to extract the data stored in the cogitator. What are you talking about? If we connect the cogitator to the augmetic system, the Lex Mechanic will serve as a conduit for transmitting the data. We will learn the details, even if they are incomplete, of the things he saw and heard, but is now unable to recall. The Lex Mechanic, who has been listening to your discussion and puzzlement, finally understands what is going to happen to him, and he begins to back away in fear. No! Anything but that, I'll die. No, it'll be worse than that. I'll succumb to the corruption. I'm begging you, please. I'd rather be burned as a heretic and have the scrap code in my biological cogitator. At these words, Hyrax pauses for a fraction of a second, almost as if he is reconsidering. In failing to offer any resistance against the enemies of the Omnissiah, Unit Zeta-86 lost the grace of his machine rank and was recategorized as a resource of the manufacturer. The defilement and torment of said resource, if committed to advance the struggle against heresy, will not be deemed as an apostasy or malification against a living soul upon expiry of the expiry of the unit's uti utility disposal is recommended Heimrich stop the leaders of the cult would never discuss anything of importance in front of witnesses leave the poor man alone we cannot allow the information to go to waste one life is a small price to pay for the good of the Imperium. It's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. But, let's, I mean, so this guy... He's already disgraced as a tech priest, right? That makes me feel worse for him, to be honest. Um, and even if the scrap code hadn't gotten into his biological cogitator, he was still around beings of chaos, right? He has been corrupted. And every time I've shown any sort of leniency towards that kind of stuff, it's come at a cost. And we need that information. Although Pascal might be right in that he probably didn't learn anything super valuable. The thing about knowledge is you never know what you're going to need, right? We cannot allow information to go to waste. 
for the good of the Imperium. Like a snake, Hamrix lunges at the Lex Mechanic, whose mouth opens in the beginnings of his sequel. It's happening off camera. Oh, there we go. Look at this mark. Someone was dragged. No, so. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Pinning the babbling Lex Mechanic, Hyrix uses his free hand to feel for the connectors of the external cogitator, and then for the socket at the back of his captive's neck. The Lex Mechanic struggles for struggles a few times, but when Hyrix twists the reel on the cogitator's hanging wires, the Lex Mechanic lets out a chilling howl, howl and arches his back sharply. His hands twitch and leap to the inscriber, and begin typing furiously, pounding on the keys with huge force. Cassia, who has been stoically observing everything, flinches and inverts her gaze when the Lex Mechanic starts crushing his own fingers into a pulp. Oh, God. Oh. Why'd they have to describe that while my hands are on a keyboard? Oh. <laughs> the scroll that creeps out of the inscriber's printer continues to grow, undulating in waves of parchment that settle on the floor. The crunch of breaking bones can scarcely be heard over the hammering of the keys. After several minutes, the Lex Mechanic's fingers are well and truly crushed and blood is spattered over the inscriber. But that does not stop him, trying in vain to press the key with the scraps, bone, and skin that remain. Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> Heinrichs tears off the parchment and skims his eyes over it, sometimes frowning and looking away as though his eyes are paining him. It will take time to study this in full. But at first glance, at first glance, the data from Lex Mechanic's cogitator suggests something of the nature of the cult's major preparations. Refitting the manufacturing, accumulating resources, mentions of focus points. These are our, these are preparations for a large scale chaos ritual. It appears the local cogitator, whatever that may be in actuality, is one of the key points in the list. Excuse me. We can learn more if we find the construct that was created on the fabricator sensor's orders. The coordinates are here. It's located here in the bowels of the manufacturing. Hymrix casts a final look at the Lex Mechanic, now locked forever in a cycle of mindless motion and turned away. We had better hurry. Should we not, like, put him out of his misery? No? Oh, I bet that's how we get down there. Alright, so... It's just you two right now. Everybody else is stuck on the other side. Ruinous favor prevails. Hey, I, pre I prevailed. The wearer gains 10 ballistic skills and 25% critical damage. We don't say. What does mine do? Sniper gloves. The wearer gains 5% critical damage. So single shots and dead eye shots. 5% more damage. Um, Are these better? Mm. I mean, getting ballistics up that high is probably pretty good, right? I'm gonna go with it. The world will bow. Okay. Let's go down this way. Is this steam? Okay. And you guys can use your athletics to get down here. Oh, I brought everybody with me. Lovely. Is that guy still moving? Kind of. Okay. Just swaying in the wind. I didn't miss anything, did I? What about this over here? I don't think I did. Got some goods over here, though. Take that. The screen of this cogitator shows a scrolling line of repeating technolingua at the obscure symbols. Uh, wait, staring at the obscure symbols gives you a headache. Oh. 
Attention to detail is the key to success. Good spot. The 16 Universal Laws, The Warning. A tome containing warnings of the Omnissiah. This set of unshakable tenets of the Adeptus Mechanicus is hidden from the eyes of the layman with a special Benharic cipher. Only an anointed tech priest can divine the sacred knowledge from the folio. Hope we find that. We got some goods up there. Oh god. Who the hell is that? Is that the census focus? Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, he looks badass. He looks like Urgot almost, <laughs> but skinny. Um. Okay. The massive Magos, clad in ritual garb, lets out a Benharic trill and turns to you. From beneath the deep hood of his mantle, two dimly lit eye implants gaze out at you. You hear another Benharic tirade. This time, clearly addressed at you. Who in the void are you? What's the matter, little tin comrade? Implants on the blink? Forgotten how to speak properly? What did you just say? Um, what did you say? Primitive creature. Devoid of true knowledge. Could it be one of the slaves who escaped imprisonment? Kneel, servant. Before the master of Kiavagama. Who are you? You you propose that I, the rogue trader of the Von Valencia's line, kneel before you? I'm giving you five minutes. No, not to beg for forgiveness. To speak your last words and to offer your final confession. Kiavagama belongs to House Von Valencia's, with whose scion you have the honor of speaking. I'm gonna go with number two. You are one of the troglodytes who once had the gall to oppress my comrades and resist my will. A messenger from the barbarian who drank the sacred unguents, <laughs> bestowed upon her through others' toil. Very well then, your appearance is the perfect opportunity to teach your ilk a lesson. My name is Cubis Delphim. I once held the title of fabricator censor of the Kiava Gamma Manufacturum, but I rejected it along with the other fetters that hindered progress. Once, my faith was flawed and led naive fools from the cult Mechanicus into the darkness of ignorance. Now I am this world's master and serve the true gods. You tread upon their territory and you do not number among their legion servants. Therefore, you must be subject to immediate disposal. As the senior functioning member of the Priesthood of Mars, I, Magos Explorator Pascal Han Hanuman, declare this temple to the machine god compromised and forthwith void or forbid what? all service within it. I dethrone the Fabricator Censor, the ignorant heretic who has betrayed the Omnissiah, and condemn as anathema any and all standard procedures implemented by him, that the cycle of the blasphemous operations he has put in motion be discontinued. Pascal switches to Benharic and you hear dissonance burgeoning in the depths of the forge cathedral. Some of the giant machine some of the giant mechanisms heed his order and go still while others obeying the fabricator sensors will continue their work. Crashes, explosions, and the clanging of crumpling metal signify that some dissent among the machines has interrupted the manufacturer's production cycle. I'm glad we buy brought him with us. Hanuman? Liar. You are not him. The mid the immense Hanuman obeys me. His mind is open to the voices of the void, and the scrap code he created protects my world. And I'll not have you rusted refuse from the misfit cast of explorators. Call me ignorant. This statement is false. Your regalia has been revoked. You have been deemed defective and will be eliminated. Pascal turns to you and says dryly, initiating heretic search. Designation, the immense Hanuman. I wish to execute the retribution process. A tech priest who has renounced the dogmas of the cult Mechanicus in favor of delving into forbidden chaos tinted technologies. Why did you, or what did you do to the governor of Kiavagama? Is he alive? So you have traded from you have traded one master for another? I would have expected a fabricator sensor to be smarter than that. 
I usually prefer negotiating to fighting. Fighting destroys property and wastes resources, but in your case, I'm afraid that extreme measures must be taken. This is my world, and it will serve only me. I have seen what you have done to this world and its poor people. I will not allow it to continue. Is the governor alive? The removal of unserviceable artifacts was the first step toward retooling this world. Only my tech comrades heeded the call of truth that reached into the cogitators and allowed them to pierce the veil of empty dogmas. Poor old Gaprak. Ten or so years back, he told me he felt uneasy in the presence of the tin can comrades. I mean, he seemed at the de Adeptus Mechanicus. He casually complained about not having been dealt a, mo a normal planet. I'll have to honor his memory with a prayer. Once we have finished purging this place, Abelard brandishes his weapon. Thankfully, the fabricator sensor here did not require any coercion to confess to treason. So you've traded one master for another? The fabricator sensor's box lets out a piercing, barely audible sound that makes your insides shudder. I will rip out your spinal column and braid it around my staff, you arrogant creature. Mm. This world is mine, and it will only serve me. Even a cursory analysis of the data shows that the probability of this outcome is negligible. You, like your predecessor, are but an artifact of certain calculations, one that requires minimal resources to revise. You may be driven by your will to fight, but know this. Gyabagama has already been converted. Its lines have been restructured, and its servants have been already have already tasted the fruits of progress. In the crucible of this manufacturum, torrid liquid metals will be used to forge vessels for sacred spirits. The Adeptus The Adepts are already tirelessly delving deeper into new mysteries that were once barred by false tenets. You Servants of fake gods are too late. The entire might of this world will soon rise up against the anathema and his slaves. So, so many open admissions of heresy and so few sentences. Sister, how many death sentences would you say his words warrant? I cannot answer that, Master Vakalex. It is not my duty to measure the guilt of heretics. When the Adeptus Servitus appear before enemies of the Imperium, it is time to fire, not count. And now is one of those times. Check the chronometer. Chronometer. Your five minutes have passed. I hereby sentence you to death, and I will be the one to carry it out. In the name of the Golden Throne, I will stop you and those who follow you. You deserve a painful death of what you have wrought upon the machines of this world and their priests. You know why I like deranged tin cans like you? When you're killed, you leave behind plenty of useful spare parts. I think I'll make a portable recap machine out of you. I gotta say, that's like the uh, loot goblins uh, line right there. Um, your five minutes have passed. Comrades, purge the manufacturer of any random variables. I must prepare for the culmination of our great work. Find a way to the heart of the manufacturer. Gut the outsiders, let their blood mix with oil. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Whew, okay. Can I get the shot on him first? Fate beckons me. Fire. I need no guidance. Your existence is naught but ashes. That's how you start a fight. Damaged him too. Lovely. Okay. Imogene, you're good where you're at. Hi, Rick. Uh, we've got these guys up here, so we're gonna have you start headed up that way. Cassia. Here. Abelard. Here. Argenta. Ah, oh, I was kind of hoping to get you over there. There for now. And Pascal here. Start the battle. Alright, Pascal.
Go and fry them. Good stuff, good stuff. These guys are weak. My vow is to serve. Can you hit them with that? No, too far. Damn, okay. Uh, front line up there. Back line right here. Rear line here. Running by Eric Overright. Analyze him. Alright. You're gonna move here. I have read tomes of military tactics. Take him out. Isn't this a job for the serfs? You get them up there? Nah, they're in cover. See that? If you insist, Lord duty demands. Another one dead. I didn't notice there was a guy way in the back. Good. All right, Heinrich, up here. Get me a target. Ah, damn it. It's unfortunate. Throw a plasma grenade. Naturally. Enfeeble them. I won't object to it. Toughen yourself. Endure. Let's see to it. What is this? Demolitions. So we're gonna need Imogene to come up. Oh, I didn't see those guys. Or I guess just that guy. Aren't you good with demolitions too? Can you get up there? Rejoice in battle. Faith without deeds is worthless. I can't make it there though. I will get up there. Concentrated fire, controlled shot. As the Emperor commands, I act. I've blocked myself? No, okay. I was about to say. Doubt is for the weak. Good damage, good damage. Got another shot here. Oh, I can move again. God Emperor. I, think I, I messed up me. that, but that's fine. Fire in my heart. As the Emperor commands, I act. Do this. Faith without deeds is worthless. All right, you're gonna move here. Mark him. I think he's the only one you can see. So we're gonna attack him. Ruin beckons. Rend the flesh. Shatter Again, thirty-eight percent chance. Ooh, with a big shot though. Running gun. But no. Why can't I shoot again? I won't waste oh, no, my I, time Okay, that. fine. You serve me. One step closer. Damn, I can't do anything. You missed. Good parry, good parry. Good parry, good parry. Good dodge, good dodge. That's what I'm talking about, Heinrich. Good stuff, man. Man, there are a lot of these guys. All right, Abelard. Move here. Tried and tested tactics as a best Hope I didn't ones. mess that up. I didn't. Okay. Oh, I did mess up. Actually, I shouldn't have charged him. Ah, damn it. Eh. At your beck and call, gray hair, sure hand. That and then defensive stance. I will do my duty. Are you it in this range? She's not. Oh well. Victory is imminent. It will be done. Owie. I've suffered worse. All right, Pascal, come up here. And let's do... Right there. Well done, well done. Analyze him. Big damage there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
All right, Cassia. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. And again. Me. If you insist. Another foe painted black. He's dead. You can do that. And then voice of the emperor, or voice of command, rather. And then give him a turn. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I will do my duty. Move up there and hit him. At your beck and target well struck. In the name of House Orcelio. I there we go, prevail. and indeed, wreck the strike. Victory is imminent. Sworn enemy. At your back and <laughs> charge over there. At your back and <laughs> an exemplary strike. Keep taking them down, buddy. Great damage there. Defensive stance. Endure. Indeed. Rock creep. At your beck and call. Good stuff. Alright. So kick him. But of course, Lord Captain. Shoot him. Let's see to it. Charge him. No, he's too close. Damn it. Alright. Uh, where's this trap thing? Why can't I disarm this trap? The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Wait, I saw it. There. The Emperor favors me today. There you go. And then shoot him. As the Emperor commands, I act. You, good damage, Emperor. good damage, good damage. Inspire him. Doubt is for the weak. And you can move up. Guided by faith. All right, Imogene. Head up here. Go ahead, and mark him. Purpose guides me. Mark him. Wild hunt. On him. Whispers. Guide my hand. A blood tribute. Beautifully done. Now I can move again. There's a, there's a spot. Oh, I forgot about that guy up there. Mark him. Mark him. And mark him. Ruin beckons. Hmm. I will try and kill triumph. these guys. One step closer. I missed. Damn it. I Reload. Triumph. Put that up there on him. Revel in slaughter. And I don't like your position, so move there. No I think that's cover. Deep analysis. Oh, yeah, I forgot that guy was still alive. Brace yourself, Is that the best you can do? Alright, move here. Sworn enemy. Someone Reckless strike. Can do this. And charge him. Victory is imminent. Get wrecked. I will do Defensive stance. Ah! Endure. And that should be good enough. Alright, Pascal, go ahead and just come up here and smack this guy. I haven't used my... Uh, My uh, those moves in a while. Be condemned. I 
within 10 cells can move there. All right, I wonder if I can get you guys to move up to that one. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. I have no idea. Okay. I can't see him. That's annoying. I will Be careful move here. not to cross my gaze. Give you a turn. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Oh, you can't see him either. Ah, shit. Right over here. No. Okay. Useless. Okay, that's fine. Does that mean I can move here? Okay, and that took no movement speed. Awesome. Everyone, step aside. That's actually super useful. Oh man, we're gonna have to buy that if we can. All right, sworn enemy. I won't object to it. Shoot him. Let's see to it. And really, I can't charge him. Oh, that's dumb. I can't get any movement. How annoying. Not sanctioned to do this. Okay, well, fine. Uh, toughen. You're, you're already toughened. Enfeeble him. Naturally. Endure. Alright. You can do this too? As the Emperor commands, I act. Awesome. Move here. Rejoice in battle. Go ahead and shoot him. Faith without deeds is worth Run and gun. I'll do it. Move here. I will bathe this battlefield Shoot him. in righteous fury. This is why good stuff, I good chosen. stuff. Inspire him. Doubt is for the weak. Alright. Uh is this a good spot over here. Descent sure, right here. On the weak. Fire. Purpose guides me. Good damage. Fire. So, yeah. Not a great shot, really. Ooh, with the attack of opportunity, 161 damage. Damn. All right. A lot of uh, a lot of enemies, but really no danger. No danger. What difficulty did I put this game on? That doesn't seem very difficult. The arc rifle. Huh. Arc rifles are pretty cool. And a power sword. I don't think I need the power sword, but we'll take it. Alright, loot this guy. He also had an arc rifle. I don't think we need multiple ones, so we can do that. Intriguing. Got a bunch of doors. Take that. Okay. Is that all the loot? These guys down here got looted too? Okay. Alright, so we've got goods way over there. And we've got goods right in front of us. Yeah, right down there. Go grab those. This ocular implant is a worthwhile investment. That was close. Imogene, get rid of that. Predictable. I have old injuries, yeah. I forgot to heal those. Let's seize the opportunity. Uh take that. Yep. Let's go get that other loot. And I guess we'll check out these doors since it seems like that's the way we gotta go. Cause that's where he was at. 
I tread a path on this looks like a pretty extensive map, which is exciting. We haven't had a big map in a long time, I feel like. Ooh, medkit. Alright, what's through here? was sent to me. That was close. <laughs> Triumphant, as All right. always. How close are we to leveling, by the way? Oh, we are on the cusp. As you approach the cogitator, you notice a number of deep scratches left by huge claws on its metal surfaces. Despite the apparent damage, the machine seems to be in working order. View the log. The log contains nothing of interest. The maintenance ritual schedule for the sacred machine that moves the bridge and activation log and a few notes of religious nature entered by tech priests. Activate the emergency bridge lowering protocol. You touch the levers and the reels of the control panel on the reels of the control panel and disturb the slumber of the spirits that reside within this cogitator. The machine dawdles as if still drowsy but nevertheless performs its assigned function. Awesome. The cogitator is silent, awaiting new commands. Step away. Very good. Alright, let's go ahead and blow this bad boy up. Ruinous favor prevails. Easily done. What have we got here? It opens up the door. Alright, let's check these goods out. You've got a Melta weapon, Melta Ultima, Ooh. and a Biomancy staff, Staff of Blood, Siphon Life, Heroic Act, Siphon Life, Siphon. Might give that to Heinrich. Let's see here. I haven't really used your staff at all, but. Though it looks like you do have a. Yeah, you have the Sanctified Staff, which gives you Emperor's Wrath. The Staff of Blood seems better. The Ancient Force Sword that he has. That's such a cool weapon. <laughs> oh man, I want one in real life. The wielder of the Staff, Power Level 9, gains the Siphon Life ability. This ability is also available in its Heroic Act and Desperate measures, Measure version. Power Level 15, Willpower 10, Toughness. Your current one... This staff with a power level 5 plus Psyker's Resolve gains the Emperor's Wrath ability. Its ability is also available. The red adjacent to the target suffers. Yeah. We should use these things more. They're cool. I'm going to stick with the Emperor's Wrath for now. Because I think your Resolve is plus 4 right now, right? Yeah, so they're both power level 9. Embrace true power. Oh, I forgot to touch this thing. Something is howling within the metal housing, as if the machine spirits of the of this cogitator are lamenting some irreparable loss. Force access to the cogitator system. Tech use 50. Oof. Your knowledge of machine spirits is sufficient to trick the system and subdue it to your will. A false query, a crafty manipulation of the controls, and you get what you want. You gain access to the cogitator system. The device's machine spirit can do nothing to thwart you. Subdued by its defeat, it hides in the depths of its lair. Awaken the spirit. You touch the levers and the reels on the control panel and disturb the slumber of the spirits that reside within this cogitator. The machine dawdles as if still drowsy, but nevertheless performs its assigned function. The cogitator is silent, awaiting new commands. Oh, could I? Ooh, we leveled up. Could I have used that to, like, kill, like, a whole bunch of them? That would have been cool. You would have had the... Oh, no, I guess you really wouldn't... Like, I don't know when these guys aggroed, but you could have snuck up here, I guess. And gone through there. That would have been a cool way to do it. Alright, let's go ahead and level up. Common talent and an ability. So, our common talents... 
What do we want to get for our common talents? Mm, I like how it's organized now, so you have the different things. Each round of Fortress World characters gain a stacking 1% bonus to dodge against ranged weapon attacks for each shot they've made. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You go on could be good. You can start making use of that more. Advanced skill lore, Xenos. Weapon proficiency. That could be useful. Not really like useful, but good fun, I guess is more the wor wor word. How can I make myself more powerful? That's the... Um, Important part. Like, how do I make myself stronger? Plus two to minimum damage, maybe? More movement? Like, you go on is nice, but doesn't really make me more powerful. Really, my 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 origin doesn't really do much for my power. It's more of like a support class, it seems like. I mean, I picked it for roleplay reasons, but it doesn't really synergize with the whole sniper. Do a lot of damage thing. I think this one does, but... I we could go for this. I mean, minus seven's a pretty big hit. I don't know. But we get that ballistic skill up. I don't know. Getting weapon proficiency could be good. You know, maybe we'll get, like, some really badass weapon. Kind of want to go with Jukari weapon proficiency, though. Fuck it. We've done it. All right, so now for this one, called the Bold. Additional BS bonus. Okay. So that's six extra damage on that. That's not bad. Enemy's armor will be reduced by three times their difficulty tier. Uh, against all bounty hunter attacks until the end of combat. The enemy's armor against this attack is below 20%. The enemy's dodge is also decreased by uh, three times the difficulty tier. Piercing shot. The bounty hunter's next attack during this turn will have 100% over penetration. And two times perception bonus. So that's 8% armor penetration. Prey, the next attack that hits a target marked as prey is always a critical hit. That could be good. Hot on the trail. Is it enemy? So this is where we get the trailed stuff. Oh, I was getting 7% hit chance against a trailed enemy. 15% of the enemy's difficulty tier is more than 5 or equal to. Uh, if any ally kills a trailed enemy, the bounty hunter gains an additional turn after that ally's turn with all... I like this. Plus, we know we get some um, other abilities or talents that that require the tra the trailed um, thing. Until the bounty hunter's next turn, whenever an ally attacks a target marked as prey, this attack deals uh, four percent additional damage and gains half the bounty hunter's current bonuses to critical hit chance and critical damage granted by hunt down the prey. Okay, and go hot on the trail. Yeah. Okay. Heinrich. So you just get an ability this level. Oh boy, but man, what ability what ability do we want? So we've got kick before. You want to get another one of these abilities? Next attack if it hits will cause all the targets to make a toughness resistance test. Uh if failed the targets will suffer a negative effect based on the attack 
damage type. Mm, knocks them prone. Bleeding. Oh, that's fun. Reckless Rush. Immediately gains 3 plus Arc Militant. If the Arc Militant has stacks of versatility, those stacks are doubled until the end of the turn. This is all stacks when they're added to the end of the turn. Okay. Next attack will cause 0 AP. But not count toward the attack limit this turn. And will grant a stack of versatility. Even if the attack type is the same as the target. Or last target. Well, the last attack. Okay. The cost of this ability is reduced by one for every four stacks of versatility. Oh, it costs three AP. Oh, okay. Huh. I wonder how much versatility we typically get in combat. Without knowing that, I'm a little reluctant to take this. Because if we get like eight, um, if we get like eight stacks, that means this would only cost one, which means we essentially get a free action. A free attack, rather. I guess we always get an extra attack, but uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe that one. Gains the cautious approach effect. Uh, this guy's not con ca cautious. He's confident, though. Uh, or until this ability, blah, blah, blah. Instead of the usual bonuses and versatility, the Archbishop gains 5% dodge reduction, power reduction, and ignores 5% army or enemy cover for every stack. That's a lot. Okay. All the Arch Militant's attacks score critical hits, but the Arch Militant's critical damage for those attacks is modified by minus 50. We have blah, 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 blah. Mm, four more stacks of versatility attacks deal maximum damage. That seems pretty good. But we could also get this stuff. Here's the biomancy things. Oh no, this is saying I could get another one of the... Ooh, we could double dip. Okay, this is the biomancy stuff, I think. To the end of combat, the target ally increases their MP by 3 plus my psycho rating, which is 4, so 7. That's the end of combat. Their agility and agility bonus and their AP by 1. This one seems pretty good. I'm going to get that. Warp speed. Regeneration also sounds nice. But we haven't had too much problem with um, our, our health. I, warp speed sounds fun. It's a haste, right? All right. Cassia. New ability for you. Um, ooh, the blitz stratagem. Okay. That's a friendly creature. Emulate the soul. Soul burn. I kind of want to get that. We got it used on us by one of her, the traitor or Celio girl that attacked us. It looked really cool. All enemies within the area suffer 10 plus 2 times my willpower. So, ooh. so 28 penalty to their willpower and toughness. And that's actually a big debuff. Isn't it? That's 28. It's, yeah, I mean, that's at least... It'd be better if it was 30. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, I guess, huh? That seems pretty good. Warp Curse Unleashed. All incoming warp damage is increased by 10 times... Or plus 18. Right, that's my... So 28%. And other types of incoming damage are increased by 5 plus 8. Or no, 9. Uh, so 14%. At the start of their turn, the enemy closest to them also becomes cursed. So it spreads. Ooh, that's actually really good too. Uh, I think we had like a fear effect and it didn't really... 
But you have like a frenzy effect and it doesn't really do much, I don't think. Square, the enemy closest to that square immediately moves up the four cells towards it. Okay, I like, ooh, I kind of like both of these. I think I'm gonna get Waking Nightmare. Yep, 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 yep. All right, Abelard, new ability for you. Okay, so for these, hmm. The Vanguard, hold on. Until the start of their turn, gains 10 plus 10, so 20% damage. And 20% armor penetration against enemies in its cell radius around the vanguard. That sounds really good. Additionally, when the ability is used, all allies in its cell radius around the vanguard gain the following ability until the start of their next turn. And that gives them more MP, it looks like. Hmm. I like that one. That's in the lead right now. Uh, nah. Chooses an ally. All enemies in a three star radius around this ally must make a wisdom saving throw or willpower resistance test. They move, maybe priority target. So this is a, a ranged taunt. And this is probably a melee taunt. Yeah. I haven't had too many issues with that. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm gonna get follow my lead. All right, Pascal. Blitz stratagem. That seems so useful right there, especially on like wider maps or bigger maps. That seemed great. All right, uh, common talent for you. Do I wanna get any more of these? Uh, willpower to two damage for single shot and attacks or two in these for one round. Mm -hmm. Flensing faith. Melee flame and melta attacks against demons and psychers deal additional. Should I be using flame and melta attacks on her? The emperor protects. 4% chance to ignore any enemy attack. That sounds like a nice thing to have. Mm. Your fellowship's not that great. I'm not going to get that. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Better to die for the emperor. That seems like a nice thing to have. Um... Not sold on any of it though. I've already got bolt weapon and bolter weapon. Are these the same things, such as bolt and bolter weapons. No, I think is a bolt weapon or bolter weapon are those the same? I don't know. Hmm. Swift movements could be good. I think it's swift movements. It's not anything super sexy, but I think it's useful. Okay. Now I've assigned objective on J, don't I? I think that's pretty good. Or we could give linchpin. Da, 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 da. So I've one resolve for every five stacks. Okay. Stacks of tactical advantage equal to 20 plus our fellowship bonus percent. Okay. Of all momentum the target gains instead of the usual 20%. 
Hmm. Yeah. And with the unfinished business effect, I don't think I have that. Uh, so I suffered damage 20% of my max moons. It gains master to resolve. Stacks of tactical advantage. Okay. So we would get six stacks of tactical advantage. And we set the cooldown on which pin and spot. That's not terrible. Okay. I'm going to get linchpin though. I like that. Alrighty. We're leveled up. And we're ready to get going. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. And next one. I think we'll uh, cross this bridge over here. And start looking for that uh, spider monkey dude. Until then. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.